What's up, guys? Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Wherever everybody from wherever you at. Hope you guys are gonna be having a great Thursday. Looks like I got three rants to do today, like I said in my rant from yesterday. So the first rant is gonna be about, as you can hear in the background, September 13th, 1994. 24 years ago today, the Notorious B.I.G. released his debut album, Ready to Die. Another tech and a nine in my crib. Turn himself in, he had to do a bid. A one to three, he be home the end of 93. I'm ready to get his paper, G. You with me? Motherfucking right. My pockets looking kinda tight. And I'm stressed, yo, Biggie, let me get the best. No need for that. Just grab the fucking gas. The first pocket that's fat. To his back, to his bone. I'm a smoke, yo, don't fake no more. Treat it like box, stick it ain't got to explain shit. I've been rapping motherfuckers since the slave ship With the same clip and the same 4-5 Play, play, your motherfucker sure and die That's my word Try to go hard Have his mother saying it's so hard Yes, love Love your fucking attitude Because the nigga play pussy That's the nigga that's getting screwed What's up with the pistol whipping The neck from the necklace stripping And I'm robbing bitches too Bad boots I wouldn't give a if you're hit, pregnant, baby race. I'm slabbing niggas like Shaquille. Shit is real. When it's time to eat a meal, I rob it still. Cause my Duke ain't giving me shit. So for the bread and butter, I bleed niggas in the gutter. The word the mother. Dangerous, trace nothing them back. A fucking angel dust. When I bust my gas, motherfuckers take dirt naps. I'm all that. And a dime sack with a paper at. Wow, it's been 24 years since Biggie released his first album, Ready to Die. See this? This was the only album to be released during Biggie's lifetime as he was murdered 16 days before the release of his second and last album, Life After Death. This album pretty much tells Biggie's stories for being a drug dealer to a hip-hop artist. Many critics, there was many people, critic, many critics said that this is definitely one of the greatest albums, hip-hop albums of all time, and one of the best albums of the 90s decade. Man, this, I can't believe this album is 24. I can't wait to celebrate 25 years of it next year. And another thing about this Biggie Smalls Ready to Die album. Did you know that Method Man was the only artist to be featured on this album? Yeah, Method Man was the only hip hop artist featured on this album. Of course, my favorite track off the Ready to Die album has to be Juicy, which is my favorite Biggie song of all time. Because that song, when he said, Damn right, I like the life I live, because I went from negative to positive, that inspired me to go from being negative to being positive. And I was being negative when I was younger, but as I got older, I started being positive. Um, Unbelievable is another one of my favorite songs by Biggie, off this Ready to Die album. As well as the track that's playing right now, Gimme the Loot, Gimme the Loot. Uh, what other songs? Everyday Struggle. All they want is fucking donuts. Of course, Everyday Struggle. That's Biggie's cousin, Little C's favorite song off the album, Everyday Struggle. Respect. That's another one of my favorite songs by Biggie. And The What featuring Method Man. As much as I like Biggie's verse in The What song, Method Man out him in that song. He also out Tupac 
on Tupac's song Got My Mind Made Up from Tupac's All Eyes On Me album. Machine Gun Funk, another one of my favorite songs off the album. Uh, Suicidal Thoughts. I know that was the one song they could not put on the radio. Mm -mm. I believe this album went two times platinum. Oh, this is my song right here. Machine Gun Funk. It's a sample off of Lords of the Underground song, Cheap Rocker. Me and my bitch. When he came out with me and my bitch, I'm like, get out of here, man. This kid is sick. Sick in a good way, though. And he had a lot of great producers on this album. Like, of course, DJ Premier, one of the most underrated DJs and producers. Easy Mo B, another underrated producer. Lord Finesse, another underrated producer. And of course, Puff Daddy is the executive producer of this album. Oh, you can't forget about Warning. That's another one of my favorite songs off the album. And Biggie was also 21 going on 22 when he recorded this album. Big booty bitches. So that's my first rant of the day. Celebrating 24 years of the Notorious B.I.G.'s Ready to Die album. The next rant, as you can see, the person on my shirt, we celebrate his life and legacy. That's the next rant of the day. So I catch you guys in the next rant. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I catch you in a minute for my next rant. Happy 24th to the Notorious B.I.G.'s Ready to Die album.